土耳其大地震至今近五个月，为了解当初筹款时，与国际赈灾伙伴 Operation Blessing International 共同计划的三项施工、建立社区中心、社区厨房以及净水系统等的落实情况。李伟强牧师前往土耳其当地慰问灾民。原来地震的重灾区，竟是初期教会时代门徒首次被称为基督徒的安提阿。李牧师因亲眼目睹上帝奇妙作为而经历了前所未有的感动。如果需要帮忙，你可以去找基督徒，这是灾区中最流行的一句话。这里大概有三百个人，所以每一个都是一个家庭。下面的空地会有一个社区的厨房，这里附近的社区的人都可以来这里吃饭。大概七月份。那些难民就会过来，他们很希望可以接待，呃，叙利亚的难民，因为他们是最没有得到政府的帮助。目前在灾区，仍可看到很多来自世界各地的基督徒留守，致力帮助当地灾民。有来自菲律宾和南美洲的医疗团队，有每天为灾民预备六百到八百份餐点的瑞士弟兄，有在社区中心。带领小孩和妇女的墨西哥姐妹，有来自美国的年轻夫妇，带着牙牙学语的孩子，服侍当地有需要的灾民，还有来自智利、德国、新加坡、中国大陆等不同国家的弟兄姐妹，都不辞辛劳地帮助灾民们重建生活。Moved to family members, or they're in informal or formal settlements. They've moved, either moved away. So, so this really, our intention behind this is not for this to be permanent housing for years, right? Yes, of course. The heart behind it is transitional housing, and this will include either people that have to leave from, let's say, one potential scenario would be someone who's. Um, living in a tent in front of their home right now, but、mm. they're wanting to tear down their home, but they're waiting for the government to assess. That you bless him beyond measure, Lord. Open the floodgates of heaven right now and pour out your resources. Son, ah, we thank you, thank you, thank you, let many people, many sons and daughters come to this place. We pray for them to open the way. We thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 灾后的重建不只是外在建筑，更重要的是心灵方面。真诚的关爱与祷告也是工作重点。虽然语言不通，但在神的爱中，一样有最深刻的感动与连结。灾民们因为亲眼看到、亲身体会到基督徒无私的爱，于是常有人问：在哪里找到土耳其文的圣经？我们可以受洗吗？这就是小基督最大的爱与慈心。感谢您收看北美好消息新闻快报，更多精彩内容请关注北美好消息 YouTube 频道。